G'day fellow mapping fans, it's Joe Swinney from Story Reaper Games here and in this part of our tutorial series on overland mapping we're going to put down the roads. We're getting really close to being done with this map so I'm very excited. Um, what we're going to do now is zoom in and look at uh, roughly where we can start putting down our roads. The good news is that Making out roads and paths in Campaign Cartographer 3 Plus is really easy. There are tools designed specifically for it. And uh, if you thought about where you're going to place your cities and towns and villages logically, laying down the roads then just becomes a piece of cake. So I've zoomed in here so that we can look at this section of the map and clearly there's going to be some form of road trail between these areas. And if I just zoom a little bit more over, probably all the way down there and maybe back up around that peak. So to put a road in, we're going to use the road tool. Now, if I just click on it once, I'm going to get a default road. I'll just draw that for you and you can see that's what a default road looks like. Control Z to undo it. But we also have other potential roads here. If you right click on that, you could see that we could have a, a double dash road. What does that look like? See, it's a dash road like so you have got many other different sorts of roads. Now, these will be predefined for you in this mapping tool. I'm going to use the default road for this particular area. Now, starting inside the city, I'm going to just wiggle it along and come to this area here. And then I'm going to continue and maybe bring it up to here. So there you go. Now I'm going to refresh that the symbols lie over the top of your road. So that is taken care for you. Now, what about this little um, uh, house which I've put up here? It's actually a small temple. Obviously a main road would not be the one to, do, to use for that. So I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go for a path. And I'm just going to come from this point here and just draw my path up to there. And if we refresh that, you'll now see we've got a lovely little dotted line leading to that. Now, clearly this would be a regular default road. So again, click on default road. And let's take this down into this city here. And so forth. Now, notice my road has gone over the river. I'm gonna address that in just a second, but let's take it off, all the way down to that city and refresh. And again, you can see the road is running nicely down through this line. So that's basically our trade route. Now, what about this um, What about this river? How do we cross the river? You've got two choices. You can either go and get a structure, which is a bridge and put it on top of the river and the road. Let me show you. I'm gonna drill down to find the bridges. They are on here, somewhere there, bridge. So I could take that bridge like so, and I could pop it right there. That is one way of doing it. Personally, I don't think that fits the style of this map. So I'm not going to use that. The other option is just to let them cross. They don't look overly bad. You can just allow that to happen. However, usually where there is a major crossing, there is some sort of um, at least small settlement. So I'm gonna find a tiny little hamlet here and just put it on that crossing as so. Um, there's normally a boatman or something. So that's that would encourage some level of civilization. Excellent. Let's put a little path going from this little town to this um, uh, hamlet. So I click on my roads. I go to path, starting on the hamlet and just curving it up. Um, now, some people like to have straight roads on their maps. Uh, I think for fantasy maps, having a little bit of a wobble in the road is much more interesting. Um, it's up to you whether you want to use straight um, straight paths or straight roads or whatever. Uh, for me, I'm just going to curve them because that's what I like. And again, this is a fairly major roadway that goes all the way around our map like so starting to look absolutely beautiful. So you now know pretty much everything you need to know about roads. One of the things that is also very good with roads is that you can use those um, modifiers to make sure that roads that are coming together, intersections connect correctly. Let me just show you. I'm just gonna 
bring the map up slightly and I'm going to draw a default road from this city up to this little coastal town here. Then I'm going to draw it around, around through that farming area and around and up to here and then finally up to this map here. So what I'm now going to do is select my default road. I'm going to click on this little village here, just bring it out on a slight curve. And then I'm going to use my on command and select my other road there. And now those two roads will join perfectly. Okay, now I'm not going to bore you with making you watch me put all my roads in. I think that you've now got all the techniques you need. You know to start inside the, and right in the middle of the symbol that you're connecting or the city that you're connecting. Make your lines a little bit wavy or make them straight up to you, but draw them down. Use different roads to represent different things on your map and use that on or endpoint tool to make sure that your low roads line up perfectly well. Excellent. I'll see you in the next tutorial.